So time under tension is one of those old school bro science sayings that doesn't really have any evidence for it. For strength, it's actually evident that lifting slower will kill your gains. And when it comes to size, going slower doesn't really matter if you're training to the same proximity to failure. Now let's talk more in depth. Now starting with strength. On the concentric, it's been shown that moving as fast as we can versus a deliberately slower rep leads to literally twice the strength gains. On the eccentric, we also get a stronger stretch reflex when we go faster. This includes multiple factors like relaxing the muscles working against our movement, increasing activation of muscles working for our movement, and increased tension in our muscle fascicles. All things that will allow us to lift more weight. A faster eccentric can also save energy, and despite what people say, eccentric contractions do not carry over as well to concentric strength. The contractions themselves are fundamentally different at the levels of the cross bridge. It's better to save a bit of energy for our concentric work. Anybody who has done some tempos knows how hard they can be. Now, while this may apply generally, there are still times and places where slower reps can be beneficial. Think about variations like pauses and tempos to work on form. Slower eccentrics can also be useful for lowering tendon stress, which are good if you're dealing with injuries. Now let's talk about hypertrophy. Despite what it said, time under tension also does not affect hypertrophy. What matters is mechanical tension, which time doesn't really affect. What matters is how close the fibers are pushed to failure. Closer to failure, more tension. Eccentrics also don't produce more hypertrophy than concentrics. That being said, they aren't necessarily worse either. You can still do eccentrics if you want to, like strength, there's a time and place for them. There may be some regional hypertrophy benefits as well. Certain parts of your muscle may grow better from eccentrics. And eccentrics may be harder to recover from initially, but this seems to be something that you can acclimate to. So in summary, faster reps are better for strength, as long as you can control it, of course. And slower eccentrics aren't necessarily better for building muscle, though they don't hurt either. I hope this video helped you understand more about repetition duration. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.